Hello, this is Brother Kromar from the Math Department, and this is a supplement of Lesson 18 dealing with SPSS commands for, uh, for one proportion. And these are the items we'll cover. First, it'll be, I mentioned here, data entry. It's, it's uh, a little bit different in terms of what you saw in Lesson 17, where you'll enter in your information. But then the rest of them we did in Lesson 17, where it's weight cases, pie chart, and bar graph. First of all, let me describe what I mean by it's different with data entry. If you go to the example that I had in the videos, Here's a problem where I had from, from the Californians that are in favor of Proposition 8. Take a simple random sample of 1,000 Californians and out of your sample 540, say they are in favor of the ballot measure. Okay, So we want to graph that. So how do we graph that? So that's where, where the data entry comes into play when it comes to SPSS. So what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to open up a, um, a blank spreadsheet in SPSS. And so what I'll do is I'll create two columns. One, the, the categorical column where it's those are in favor or not in favor, and then the counts for each of those. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to type in basically yes, no, for those that are in favor and not in favor of Proposition 8. Then I'll type in those that are in favor, which is 540, and then those not in favor of, of it, which is 1,000 minus 540, so that would be 460. And just for making it uh, nicer, I'll call this uh, prop eight votes, and then the next one I'll call it count. Okay, and so that's the data entry for doing uh, SPSS. So the next item is the weight cases. So if you remember from lesson 17, if you have what are called summary data, which what this is, this is what it is, then you have to weight cases by a count or a frequency column, and this is our count column. So what we need to do is we need to do data weight cases, and we weight cases by the count. Okay, and we click on OK. All right, and then so that so that is um, that is weight cases there. And now the last two, I'll just do it one after the other: pie chart and bar charts. So what I'll do is I'll go to graphs, legacy dialog. I'll do a bar chart first, and I'll just do a simple simple bar chart, and I'll take the prop eight vote, so my categorical variable, and stick that under category axis. If I click on OK, you will have in just a moment here. You'll have, a, you'll have a bar graph, and if you go through this, I'll double click on, I double clicked on the graph, I clicked on elements, show data labels, and so you have the counts here, and then I have this property window here, so if I click on percent and click the upper arrow, then I click on apply, and then, um, then you can have the two different labels, one that's counts and one that's percentages, okay? We can also do the same thing with a pie chart, so if we go to the pie chart here, um, I click on define, I click on Prop 8 Vote again and click it in and put this into Find Slices by. Click on OK and then you have a pie chart. And so if I double click on the pie chart and click on Elements and then Show Data Labels and then you have the percentages whereas the other one you have the counts first but then you can go over here under the Properties window and click on Count, click on the up arrow, click on Apply and then you have the counts and the percentages. Okay. And so that would be your pie chart. And so that concludes the supplement or video for SPSS commands for Lesson 18.